has outsmarted himself and stopped using Tar Gurley. It's not that Jason Galt is looking uh 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 Charles versus T Bow Brothers Saturday night. That's gonna be dope. You get up out of here, big Illinois. Get up out of here, man. I ain't trying to hear that. You better, you better go on it on. And dude don't even believe in Jesus. I'm just, I'm just tripping. I don't know if the man believe. He, he black. He gotta believe in Jesus. You can't be black and don't no, no mess with Jesus. Especially if he from uh, uh Florida. You gotta be you better be praying to somebody. You're gonna get shot. Baltimore plays old school physical football. Not easy. Not an easy out if they're in the playoffs. I totally agree with the angry black man. And let's let's keep this in mind. The Seattle Seahawks, the Chicago Bears, and the New Orleans Saints are three teams that nobody wants to see in the playoffs. The difference is, and the thing is, they all have good coaches. The problem, the reason I don't really rock with the Rams the way a lot of people do is uh, McVay, as, uh, as Big Illinois just said, he almost cost him in the playoffs. McVay, for whatever reason, wants to show everybody he's the smartest kid in the room. We know you're smart, man. You got the genius level, le uh, le uh, uh, label. But the thing is, you don't have to show everybody you're a genius every day. You don't have to just walk around reciting your timetables and, and asking for equations. If you smart, we'll notice. If you were really that smart, you'll start handing the ball off to Ty Grill. We know that Jason Goff is a is is what Dak Prescott would look like in a good coaching. We know that. But what you do need to know is the reason he looks so good and not pedestrian is because the whole world is keying in on Todd Gurley. But you don't look smart handing off the ball because Mike Dicker won the Super Bowl handing off the ball. But guess what? Mike Dicker won the Super Bowl. And that's the difference. Uh, the coach in Chicago, Nagy, he realized that Cohen and Howard are the key to uh, to that dude not looking as trash as he is. Money, money taking Mitch. Because, boy, that boy is still it. I might need a job after they fire me for being on screen for two hours. Damn. I got you, man. I got you. Tell everybody it's your job to uh, create a profile and follow uh, Angry Black Man and all the shows and, and, and squad, follow Esquire and then we can continue to build a brand and we can hire you. Ty Gurley only got 22 carries in the last two games. Piss poor. That's the only answer to the Rams' offensive struggles. Golf is mediocre on the team. Uh, it's mediocre when the team is put on this show it's exclusively. Facts. Shout out to Angry Black Man for dropping knowledge. Like, he, I'm gonna call you Def Jeff. You dropping lines on John. Baltimore defense is almost out. It's almost all Alabama players. Yeah, man. It's, hey, it's not a bad thing to be. Not a bad thing to be the Alabama Christmas time. Speaking of that, man, I got a bone to pick with the. Uh, uh, I was listening. I was in the car with my man the other day. He had satellite radio. And. Uh, Barstool Radio was on, and they were openly talking about Alabama's gonna have a, a hit out on Kyler Murray. They gonna put a bounty on it. He 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 ha 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 hell because it was a damn y'all damn near want to call the uh, Supreme Court in when they put the bounty on uh, Brett Favre. So why is it funny that the young brother get uh, a bounty put on? Him? Go to hell, Barstool Radio, kiss my ass. But back to what we were talking about. Um, uh, yeah, man, the dude in Chicago, Nagy, he realized where his bread was butter. Mitch Trubisky is a bum. Now, let's let's go ahead and tell it what it is, man. The man Jim Harbaugh, 20, 2018. He he's he's not that good, but he is extremely mobile. And you know that's what I'm saying. Why is it it's cool for the white boys to be mobile? Oh, uh, Carson Wentz last year before he blew out his knee. Mitch Trubisky, it's a wonderful thing that he mobile, but he's just a hey, big Illinois. Tell me your man Mitch ain't just as inaccurate as uh uh. It's, it's, it's uh, 2K T-Boy, as you call it. 2018 T-Boy. Because Mitch, only time Mitch is accurate is when he hitting them linebackers in the chest. That's all I'm saying. But it's cool for the white boys to be mobile. And you can clearly see, this is what I was talking about with Cam and other uh, athletes, need to be looking out for themselves. The reason why I'm saying that is this. You, you would never know that Andrew Luck is a is one tenth of a second slower in the forty time than Cam Newton. You would never know that. He, Cam Newton, I think he was like four five, and Aaron uh uh uh, uh four five two, and, and 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 Luck was like four five even or four six. 
So he's not a lot slower than Cam. He's not measurably slower than Cam. Vikings limited Kirk Cousins 21 passes until Sunday and relied on Cook and Latavius Murray to pound the rock. The recipe for success. That's the recipe for exactly the recipe for success. The Bass needed to limit Mitts 25 a game. But you know what? Angry black man, you from the Chicago land area, bro. You know what that is. You know what that is. Because Chicago has been looking for Mitch Trubisky since Jimmy Man retired. But he ain't that. I'm so glad that they didn't let uh, Hugh draft Mitch Trubisky. Being a Cleveland Brown fan, you should be. I'm not sure you got a whole lot better with Baker, but what you did get is Little as the offensive coordinator. And uh, when you got him, that's what saved Baker. He put Baker Mayfield in a rhythm offense, and that helped him become a better quarterback. Because when he was in a read, read the defense offense, he couldn't cut it. And I'm and again, I'm not a Baker Mayfield fan. I am a you know I'm a hater. I'm, I'm gonna say it. Fuck it. I was I was trying to be nice. Uh, I hate that motherfucker. But I'm not a hater of the Browns. And uh, uh, so uh, I'm not a hater of the Browns. So I do believe your offensive coordinator helped. Uh, uh, I think I think he helped Baker Mayfield become the quarterback that he could be. And when he did that, he put them in a better situation because Todd Haley's offense. Is not, was not uh, uh, was not going to be the offense that he can excel in. He is a rhythm quarterback, which means if you could ask him to read and react, he's not going to be able to do that. So the best thing that happened to him. Well, he was saying that he wanted to put him in that kind of offense. So sorry, you. So sorry, it didn't work. Too late. Too late. But. Uh, Little is, is definitely, uh, uh, no, no, actually, Freddie Kitchens. Freddie Kitchens is the dude that I'm thinking of. Freddie Kitchens put him in that, that offense where he just dropped back, bam, throw it, drop back, throw it. He's in the rhythm, so that's what saved the Cleveland Browns. But I just think that when you are, when it's cold outside and you're running the hell out there football, you're going to win. So if you ask your boy H. Brown, I say, Look out for in the NFC. You gotta look out for the Rams. We gotta look out for the Saints. But really, look out for the Bears and the Seahawks. Don't nobody want to play them. And if the Minnesota Vikings squeak in and the, and they keep sticking to what Andrew Blackman just said, they got a chance to slap people in the mouth too. I don't think the Dallas Cowboys, uh, are real, uh, uh, Dallas Cowboys, uh, the Saints and the Rams are real threats because the is too smart. Uh, Dallas Cowboys coach is too dumb and then, and Kirk Cousins is too much of a scrub. That's it. Money making money Mitch is on his way to more accurate than uh Jackson. He has six a six T D game. Hey man. I scored twenty five in a basketball game before. I wasn't a basketball player. My point is anybody, you know, a broke clock is right. Hey, Mitch is decent. I'm not gonna call him a bum, but nah, how hey. If they, if the Bears make the Super Bowl, it's because Cohen, Howard, and their defense did that thing. Mitch will be along for the ride. Because he's so young, he still has an opportunity to develop, but I just don't think Mitch is the difference. And he hit he hits far. He he is a younger better coach Jay Cutler, if you ask me. He's not as bullheaded and stupid as Jay Cutler, but he is on that same page, if you ask me. And with that being said, y'all, that would be my last note for this show. Uh, continue to tune in to Esquire Radio. Big Illinois, what I want you to do is hit follow on the Esquire so you can get the notifications uh, on all the shows. YouTube Joe, y'all original bitch warmers. I'm not sold on Mitch leading this team this year, but next year, look out. I can go for that. Uh, man, follow. There's some good people on here, uh, uh, Big Illinois. Trust me, man. You are like, you're definitely like Angry Black Man. You're like Jungle Brother. You are like Mo Cheese. You're like DJ Knox. I mean, there's a lot of people you're like, uh, Ben from BS3. 
Trust me, follow Esquire Radio. You'll get notifications via email on a regular basis. You will enjoy everything you hear. Mo Cheese, that's my man. Good commentary, good music. Trust me, Big Illinois. Trust me, Joe. Follow everybody. Follow Esquire Radio. Man, thanks, Sid Galloway. Much love, man. Thanks for the support, man. I'll talk to y'all. Uh, uh, another tragedy in my family. My uncle passed away Saturday. Man, that's three uncles in the last fucking month. Sucks to be me. They used to be my guys. Rest in peace, my Uncle Larry. Rest in peace, my Uncle Stanley. Rest in peace as of Friday. My Uncle Le uh, my, uh, Rest in peace, my Uncle Stanley as of Friday. Damn, good show. Thanks, Larry. My main man, Larry Mitchell, king of the mechanics, a.k.a. Cousin Stabby, because he always trying to bone shit. But uh, anyway, man, thank y'all for tuning in, man. I really enjoy this. Uh, thank you again for the thank you for the condolence, angry black man. So I'm going to do the show with heavy heart. No, I ain't, man. I mean, my Uncle Larry, it was a, it was a rough, it was a, it's a rough, rough sledding for my Uncle Larry, so it was no, really no surprise. But, uh, thank you, thank you, Mo. I'll be doing the show on Saturday, man. It's, it's, it's damn near therapy, man. It's, it's fun, man. I, I love going back and forth with y'all. Please continue to go back and forth with your boy. I'm working on that microphone, though, and when I get my mic, all y'all gonna have to bow down. Bow down. But, uh, until then, keep the jokes coming, man. I love it. Uh, as I do every week, man. As I do every show, gotta send a shout out to all my uh, my ancestors that are not here. Everybody in the Williams family, the Bailey family, uh, the the, the Legons family, the Cotton family, the Whitmore family. Oh uh, yeah, and you owe me some sticks, homie. I ain't forgot about that bet, blood. I'm saying that the big Illinois. He says Stogie's Friday night. Uh, tune in, uh, man. Follow a Larry. Big Illinois uh, 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 background listeners and Joe from Houston, please follow Angry Black Man Mochi. Follow the X Squad, then follow uh, Angry Black Man because he ain't on X Squad, but he got a dope ass show. Y'all love it. Y'all like my show. Y'all like his for sure. But y'all like everybody's show. Trust me, man. DJ Knox, man. Good music. And DJ Knox is what you want, man. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, damn. Still swing. Angry Black Man said that the show in like, with this mic. I can't tell. Man, thanks for the man. Keep them jokes coming, man. I love it. But uh, the Cotton family, the Whitmore family, the Pollock family, the Bailey family, the Ligons family, the Blackledge family, and the Williams family. To all my uh, relatives who've gone on to the other side, who protect me and you. Rest in peace to all of them. Much love to all of them. Much love to you guys. Thank y'all for tuning in. Uh, see y'all 4 p.m. Central Standard Time, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 3 p.m. Mountain, and 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Y'all all know the Combat Jack was the reason uh, that, that they gave me the energy and the courage to be a podcaster. So I got to send a shout out to my main man, Reggie O'Shea, a.k.a. Combat Jack. Talk to y'all Saturday, two fingers, one word. Take us out, Combat Jack. Talk to you, so you know what it is, man. Drink those dreams in Atlanta. Drink those dreams in Atlanta. Drink those dreams in Black and white. And the universe flows. Technicolor. Surround sound. Wow. Squad uh, collaboration. Thank you for tuning in. I'll let you say it. Two fingers, one word. I'm out. <laughs>